Okay, today we're talking about personal carry weapons. I brought a few examples. Collapsible batons, knives, this is a nice cheap throwaway knife. Strike enhancers, like this Comtex Stinger, this tactical pin, little invention of mine, right? The hammerhead. Really nice piece of work. I actually carry one myself. Um, so, and neck knives, of course. This is a cold steel little bush dagger. All of these are good, right? I usually I usually carry um, my cold steel Voyager and my keychain. Okay, with the little kubaton on the end here. Now, if you're going to carry a keychain like this, make sure that you have this detachable type of keychain so that you don't wreck your ignition by hanging this heavy thing off of it. Okay, the thing I like about these is they're easy to carry, but the thing I don't like is if I make my self defense weapons based. Um, they're only as good as your ability to get at them. So if this, for instance, it's really hard to get out from this little pocket if I'm carrying it there under pressure. Getting my knife out and getting it open and deployed under pressure is not an easy task if someone's striking me, grabbing me, trying to push me to the ground. So if I don't have good stand-up, it's, it's really not that important to have good weapon skill. I have to have both because my stand-up is what gets me to my weapon. I'm going to show you some examples of how to train that. Thank you. Okay, one more thing I forgot to mention when we're talking about everyday carry weapons is that as Filipino martial artists, I do not train this enough. I don't train weapon access nearly enough. And this is a part of training that many, many FMA practitioners forget. We do lots of weapons training. We do lots of how to attack. We do lots of how to use the weapon. But how do you get your weapon under pressure? All that other stuff, as I said earlier, is, is, is not imp as important as getting to the weapon. All right? So um, having said that, we are going to be doing a lot more of this weapons access practice, and we are going to be working on taking the weapon out of our opponent's pocket and doing all sorts of things that helps us survive in real violence rather than just focusing on being a good weapons fighter. Thank you.